Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, the next part of tutorial videos about gardening system and uh, this time we will make some additions like we will remove foliage in place where we are uh, changing the nurse our, uh, under our hoe and uh, I want to do uh, some template to show the user with a spear where he is gonna hit so um, also I've tried to make a watering system but unfortunately I wasn't able to create an animation of pouring water from a bucket so uh, video of watering system for a garden will be delayed or even cancelled if I will not be able to find or create such animation so let's start and uh, Let's start from creating, uh, from removing the uh, foliage below the place where we are placing our actor. So let's open an actor garden place with just one decal that we are placing. And uh, uh, what's going to be the logic of uh, removing the foliage? The sector will contain, uh, it already contains some box component. Now let me place it here and watch how this component looks like. Yes, and we will watch if this component overlaps with some grass or something like this. And if it is so, then we're gonna remove this grass. So, let's start and uh, Let's open this garden place. And uh, here we're gonna open construction script. And we're gonna call uh, our function about uh, with removing a foliage from construction script. So let's create a new function called remove foliage. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna just get our box here and get overlapping I'm not sure overlapping components I think we're gonna get overlapping components and check if they are and for each of them we're gonna cast every one of them cast to foliage foliage instance static mesh component Also, that depends on uh, your foliage, uh, so you can see which class is selected here, so you can select every foliage uh, mesh and check what is the component class for it. By default it is foliage instance static mesh component, but maybe you've changed it and etc. So, if it is a foliage instance static mesh component, we have to... check uh, with which instance we are overlapping and uh, as you can see now we cannot do it by checking an overlapping component we should uh, add two inputs into our remove foliage function and the first one is gonna be instance component this is gonna be foliage foliage instance static mesh component and an index index of an instance that we're gonna remove now let's select the box and create on uh, component between overlap event and here if we are overlapping some um, instance component then other body index will be an index of an instance so here we're gonna check cast our other component cast to foliage instance static mesh component and if it is true we're gonna call our function called remove foliage like this and pass other body index and an instance here now back to remove foliage function and the only thing we need to do this here is we're gonna get an instance and call remove instance and pass an index here but that's not all. Uh, 
we cannot ensure that our foliage have uh, some collision so that we can overlap with it. So what we should do, we should open every foliage here, double click uh, the showing content browser here, or we can do it even here, I think. I prefer doing here. So in the foliage from my grass, I have no collision. So I will uh, add fury only and make it overlap with my box. So my box is uh, world static. So I will make it overlap with uh, world static. Okay, it overlaps with world static. I don't need it to overlap with dynamic. On physics body vehicle or destructible and anything else. So now uh, grass can overlap, but we should also ensure that it has some collision. So let's open the static mesh by itself and check if it has collision. By the way, I just uh, check simple collision and it doesn't have any simple collision, so I have to add it. So I will add the box simplified collision. Save it, close it, and now I think that we should be able to overlap, uh, our grass should generate an overlap event. So let me pick up hole, whip it, go here, and, and here is how it looks like. Now foliage disappears. So also, you may see that sometimes part of grass is overlapping here for to fix this if you need i don't need this it's fine for me you can just increase a box in garden place like you just can just scale it by x and y so and also don't forget to uh, uh, make this check for every foliage you have here because you may have not only grass you may have some bushes or some flowers and every one of them should have a uh, Collision like Curie collision enabled, like I like here Curie collision enabled. It should overlap with world static, and it should have some simple collision on its static mesh. Okay, now we have finished with foliage removing, and what we're gonna do next? I, as I mentioned, I want to show some uh, template where where a player will uh, 